Yo, what up? Welcome what up? to our house tour. Cruise We've style. officially been in this house for six months as of this week. The last house tour we did was a completely empty house tour. As you can see, some things have changed. The boob is gone. The, 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 the entry, boob light. The entry boob light. We mentioned a bunch of things in our initial house tour video about things we wanted to upgrade or projects we wanted to do. We've done like two of the things, so that's better than none. We have some stuff on the walls, the bedrooms are like mostly put together. So we wanted to do a little updated house tour and show y'all what's up. First things first, here's the entryway. As you can see, we have it kind of styled similarly to our old house, except this is a new plant that I've actually kept alive. This is our plant, our lily plant right here that has been around for forever. Barn door, still not one. We plan to do a barn door eventually right here. The laundry room, you know, it's a lived in laundry room. It's not um, aesthetically pleasing yet, but it will be. Barn so, door here, still not on. We might do yes, something Yes, like might do that there. Our plan is to do the family handprints. If y'all remember like way back at our old, old house. The idea of where I got it from is because when I was little, we did kind of the same thing. We had a wallpaper and we did our hand and footprints. Here it is, it is going up. I've got the first layer almost done. We did wallpaper with the intention of being able to move it. It didn't move. We're well. not moving again. This is this no. is permanent. This it's is staying. On, this is like on the wall. We still haven't added our family <laughs> sand friends, so we had mentioned originally this is our main storage closet, so here it is looking like a storage closet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was gonna say a snack too? Yeah. <laughs> okay, over here we have the litter box with a little picket fence that was randomly in a dumpster <laughs> to keep the dog from getting into it. So right now it's just kind of, I just want a door to like make it, yeah, you know? it's an eyesore. And we could close this door, but then the cats couldn't get to the litter box. I don't know, it's a, it's a process of figuring out what we're gonna do with that. We never even showed you on oh, the rugs last time. Oh, are you gonna show time, them in there? No, I will say I've uh, plywooded or floored the entire attic for the most part. So that was a major she project. She wanted to walk in the attic, but now she's got to walk up in at it. I mean, we could show them. We're trying to be real here, right? Like, y'all know we're not yeah. perfect. So, this it's is in a mattress. It's a clogged up nest. This a, is a garage it's, all it's the It's like a merchandise area or like a retail store background. There's, yeah. There's aisles and there's racks. And, and see, we've left a whole space open. There is a mattress that is right here that was in our den a minute ago. It's a whole different thing. But the kids play. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like that. The kids play out here. And then we cleaned out our storage unit. <laughs> So no we, more storage units. Yay, that was a huge accomplishment. Moving right along to Brooks's bathroom. Come on, Pikachu! <laughs> oh my gosh. We mentioned originally that he had some Pikachu plans, and as you can see, he had some major <laughs> Pikachu plans. This was his little birthday gift from my parents, was his little bathroom stuff. He got his secret sliding door. I found a pallet in the neighborhood and just kind of sanded it down and sliced it up and then added to a little frame around the outside, took some little sheet metal, put it on a little track right here. But then look, boom. And then we'll show you how it goes through to the other side. There's a sneak peek of his room. I think that's super cool. Gaines has a bathroom in her room and he didn't have one in his room. So continue the Pokemon goodness. This is Brooks's room right here. He actually took the doors off the closet. No, it makes it look a little junky, but we're thinking we might do a curtain behind there just to, you know, the door hide some of the things. The door just opened up and, and cut the room off. Anytime you had the door open right here, it was just like, Shoo. We'll show you in the playroom. Look, I'm a door. door doors I'm a door, door. look. Woo. Now look, I'm a big door. <laughs> <laughs> and look, turn yourself all the way. Keep going. So it like would stick out into the entryway of his room. It was just random. And his secret little secret passage. passage right here. And Cullen even put a little handle so he can get in there to his bathroom. And so this is how it looks when it's open. How cool is that? Outside of the closet, he's got his desk, which this desk was Granberry's when she was little. And also- Granberry's dad's. Your Granberry's dad. All his little books and his pictures and stuff. We got his curtains actually hung all the way to the ceiling, if you didn't notice, because he likes to have stuff down here and they just hung too far down. His little name from his name reveal. Who remembers that? Aww. Aww. His Pokemon totally done out bedroom <laughs> with all of the stuff. This still hasn't been put together. We went back and forth on the arrangement of this room a million times. I think we actually did a room reveal. Straight it was not like this. Yeah. This is more functional for him to just like wrap around and do things. It's a lot more functional. He's got his drums right here and his little mirror, and his chalkboard, his pictures that we need to hang some pictures up there. I think it turned out cute. It's, it is what he wants. It's so. perfect. And here is the playroom. Okay, bye. <laughs> it. it has the not been room. put together yet. So just, like, you know, just, just excuse. Now look, big door. Look, like, can't even, you can't even play in here without the door 
Like well, if it was cleaned up, you might could. Yeah, really. But either way, if you're going to have the doors open, it's in the way of the room. And then when Put you do that, it blocks your entryway. I'm taking these off too. This was at one point organized, but we just don't have the storage stuff set up like we like it yet. So it's just on the last of our leave list to deal with. A door and I'll leave. I'll send it to you. On the other side of the entryway is this little table that we have set up here. They kind of left us in a weird spot here because they put the air return vent. I don't even know if it's okay that we have this up against oh, it as fine. close as we are. Oh my gosh. But you can't really hang anything up there because the air thingy's right there. Oh, one more little thing by the entryway. We've got our little, you know, grab the things on the way out the door. How do you make an egg roll? You push it. I'm <laughs> putting jokes for him in the morning. Next up is the kitchen in the den. But before we do that, right quick, a little shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to career.io for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> If you are not familiar with career.io, it is a career services partner for the life of your career. Did you know that 75% of resumes don't even make it through the sophisticated screening software that HR departments and hiring managers use these days? Like that's a lot that don't even make it to human eyes. With career.io, you can go in and upload your resume, do a quick scan of your resume for free, and their technology will return a review of your resume in minutes. From there, you can use their tools to fix your resume with their recruiter tested phrases that have been field tested and proven to get resumes seen. If you don't have a resume, you can literally start from scratch. You can either build your resume yourself with their DIY tools, or you can have a professional help you to create your resume. In addition to the free resume review, they also have a free salary review to help you make sure that you're getting paid what you should. They have cover letter building tools to help you build a custom cover letter in minutes, AI interview prep tools, and and even they can make some professional looking headshots just from photos that you have on your phone. It's a really cool website. Even if you don't think you need all of these tools, it's worth just uploading your resume and getting the free resume review. Career.io believes that no matter where you are in your career, you should always be ready to tell your story. So that's where this comes into play. Check it out. We'll put a link in the description below. You can get a free resume review yourself. All right, on to the den. This place was completely empty before. <laughs> we have made some non-conventional additions to our home because we decided we want it to work for us. We want it to be what we want it to be. <laughs> you know, um, I was gonna fall into the couch. Look at that. Speaking of our non-conventional couch, this is our original couch that we got right before Brooks was born. And it is a three-piece sectional. You see four pieces here. That is the ottoman. We realized we needed a bigger couch for in here, but we First of all, don't want to spend the money on a whole new couch. Second of all, can't find what we want. The I mean, we can. It's going to be like the cost of uh, $3,000. Whole new couch. And then look at this. Boom. Colin created his own table that he got at the thrift store. If you missed that video, I'll put a little link to it. Go check that it's out. It's on wheels, baby. It was spray painted blue and so he did all this. Th that explains the mattress. We just moved this out of the way on movie night, roll the mattress in here. And then you literally have like the biggest crash pad ever. Yep. The little twin mattress fits right there and the nugget goes on top of it. And then we can all like lay out and see the movie right here. We do have big plans for eventually putting in built in stuff here <laughs> for the entertainment center for now it's just gonna be like this emma is liking it emma emma how you like the new house oh <laughs> you don't like it come on i put that there just for you good girl these swings are actually not for the adults for real believe it or not they're for the kids we saw the flutters had these in their house they had them in their living room and i was like you know what that's a great idea because our kids come in bouncing off the couch, acting a fool. And if they can just... <laughs> There's some days I get mad and I just put your, a picture of Katie's face up here and I'm like, wow! And she just doesn't even know. Oh my goodness. So when we want them out of the way, we just put them up like this. One of the main things we wanted in the house was open concept. So this kitchen gives us that open concept. It is quite open to the den here. We've big gotten doors. new island chairs. Two big doors wide. The little walkway between here is so much bigger than our old house. The layout, like we said in the empty house video, is a little different, a little the same. When Colin, I, this, it, I, I didn't have like much of a 
You were making a mountain, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all remember our island chair saga? We've been looking for specific type of island chairs for forever. Found these on Facebook Marketplace for forty dollars for all of them. They I are. They look like this. This is what this we were is looking as close for. As we okay. Could get. Something that had a back that rotates. It needed to rotate. High have sides. arms. Have high sides. This was pretty close, I would say. Very similar. And we talked about spray painting it, but I kind of like the natural brown wood look with the feel of everything else in here. So we're just leaving it for now. Off of the kitchen is the breakfast nook. Um, that's not always there, right there, but. Sometimes you just have to have an extra couch when you get tired and boom. It's so funny, cause I'm so used to just having a couch in here. And when people come over and they're like, oh, you have a couch in here. I'm like, oh yeah. Most people don't usually put a couch like in their breakfast nook, in their eating area. But again, we decided that we wanted what works for us. And we are very often wanting to just like have a spot to chill. I know it's not far to get to that couch, but I don't know. It just, it's a whole vibe that we wanted. We have our little table from the old house. Ideally one day I might want to get a little bit bigger of a table because there is space for it. Cat tree is honestly not usually here. This is a new cat tree. The cats are getting used to it. So we're trying to like put them in a spot where we know they like to be, where they eat and where they can like see the sunshine. I'm gonna paint this. This is a new addition and that's not new furniture. We've had this forever. I think it was my sister's. She handed it down to us. We've painted it and had it in like a bunch of different Play places. Rooms. Like the old, 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 old house. Another one over there off the Dent. There's another one over there. Painted. Same thing, painted a different way. And then also in here, we have added a charging station, which this was interesting because we kept just having like cords out everywhere. The kids would plug in stuff, we'd plug in stuff. We got this at Aldi. It is actually a planter. <laughs> and so it has holes in it right here for like the drainage of the plants, but we used it to plug in all of our little cords. And yes, it looks a mess, but it hides behind the couch. And then the kids come in every night and plug in their stuff. It's I not, just, it's not its final like form it. yet, I think, but I'd like the way it's set up. Yeah, so it I like... mean, it's really been great. We did end up setting up our little coffee bar over here. I just like to keep the stuff here and like minimal on the front because it over clutters my brain. You normalize splitting the couch up like this so you can like feel like you're interacting with the people on the I know. I honestly really like having the back out of the couch right there. The kids can just run over, boom. They do, and the dogs too. The way that there's a, a nook and a corner and the high arms on both sides. You've got a place to put your legs out there. You've got a place to put your legs out here. It doesn't really, you don't miss out on the back much. And now on to one of our favorite spaces. We actually have a bunch of neighbors now, so I'm not going to be quite as loud as it was last time. They hadn't all moved in. Huh? Uh. But this is our back porch. We got our same furniture from before. You can see we got a little bit of something that needs fixing, but let's normalize just reusing the same furniture. Why don't we? We've got the awesome Pit Boss griddle right here and the awesome Pit Boss smoker right here. If you missed Cullen's story about that, how he rescued this off the side of the road from somebody who didn't want it anymore, fixed it up, and it's been amazing. Got our climbing dome. Never actually done this. I'm scared. It's really small. We've got our spring free trampoline out here. We've really loved this backyard. Oh, and when we made the empty house tour video, we didn't have the ceiling fans in. Cullen got these lights hung up around here, so it's so festive, festive at night. Festive and ready. And on to the princess's room. She now has her room fully designed and put together. We went with the angle on her bed as well because it just gave better flow. I was gonna say, if you have better suggestions of how to put it in here, let us know, but we honestly tried it everywhere except for blocking the window. For her closet, she has got a big walk-in closet, which she loved. She like uses it to play. She wanted it to have like her stuff in here. We actually took off the door on this one too, because it opened like this. And so your door was like all the time right here and it just took up a bunch of space. It like killed half the closet, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Are you gonna sleep in that tonight? Or? I'm tired of tripping over it, so I'm moving it into this play closet. She has her baby dolls that she keeps over here and she had that bed here, but she brought the crib in and has been using the she's crib into instead. All these so babies she's stuff. very into all the babies. Stay tuned for her birthday presents. Whew. This bed was actually her crib from her ba babyhood and it expanded to a queen size bed. Oh, so you need she to got... explain yourself a little bit more. That's a crib. <laughs> <laughs> it converted to a queen size bed. She's loved having this back again. We didn't have it at the rental house because we just didn't have enough room. She got her a new fish with nice. her own money. Did you post that video? Yep, it's on my Instagram. Okay, I was gonna it's say, real. did you post it on YouTube? Mm, oh, I need to. Might post it on there too. So this is her own private bathroom as well. Hello. 
So she has really enjoyed this. I thought about cleaning up her shower before we filmed this and I thought, you know what, no. She was practicing spelling words in here the other night, playing with her Barbies and it is just a lived in girly bathroom. She's got her little makeup right there. Oh, Adabelle, you didn't get on there before. Do you want me on a video? What do you think of the new house? You like the new house? You mad that I tried to brush you earlier? You still mad at me? Fine, I understand. Genie in the bottle, you gotta rub me the... Oh, hey. <laughs> was about to say this is where the magic happens um <laughs> so here is the master oh, yeah. bedroom like, yeah, this is the way the magic happens oh we didn't turn the lights They're on like, They're, are they dead or you just can't They're see them, almost dead. Yeah, you just okay. right here. You don't need them. one thing about these is they do take batteries and so it's kind of it's kind of hard to keep them them lit all the time. Just recently got this situated. This was my dresser from when I was a kid that we have used in all of our houses except the rental house. Our new bed I absolutely love because it has storage drawers. Oh, amazing. Can I open this? Yeah, open yeah. up. This side's yeah. safe. Yeah. <laughs> I keep like my weighted blanket and stuff in and there. And cubbies back here and up there. Cubbies, so I store my little bedside fan in there. We got our weather radio in there. Mm -hmm. I've got like all my files and stuff that I keep everything in there. I just got these pictures printed to hang next to the bed. These are actually just cell phone pictures from our recent beach trips. And I got them printed so at Sam's cute. Club. There's a little bit of a glare but there's the kids and then I just made them like the black and white sepia tone, but I think they go so great in here. That's memories too. Like yes. Good, good memories. We kept going back and forth. Do we put art? What do we put? And I was like, you know what? Family photos, but make them black and white, but make them beachy. <laughs> we have our same bedside tables. I'm not sure that I love them with this get up. They seem a little too fancy for me. They work for now though. Our little nook over here to act like we like to read but really there's a tv and a charger <laughs> charging station for your phone <laughs> i do have my desk in here i'm just one of those people like i gotta work at a desk i can't i can't just sit on the couch and work all the time oh, oh, cullen oh. just pulled this out of I a dumpster was, I, I yesterday was say, to ask how much i got this for oh sorry literally in the dumpster it was in the dumpster and the only thing's wrong with it where the, it was it missing. Makes you want to just jiggle. <laughs> makes you want to do a love search. Like, look at that. A love search. No. A dumpster dive search. Literally like, exciting ooh. because it was missing the um tracks for the wheels for the drawers here, which is fine because I needed to put my printers down there. I mean, so that's awesome. I could have fixed it. We like looked it up, $2. and the date on the back of this was 2022 off Amazon, two hundred fifty dollars, and you got it out of the dumpster. Crazy. We did have to touch up a couple spots, like you can see right here, but we just have this wood marker. What do I do with it? Right here. We need to quit talking. People are going to start picking up on my secrets. I know, and then they're going to be trying to get out the dumpster. Woo! Shh. Be quiet. Nobody will see anything. I will protect you. Y'all are so cute. Oh, look at his foot into Whitaker's stomach. He's like, no, you will not move. Oh, he's trying to like Suckling. suck on his fur. Oh. There's no milk in that that boy cat that's 15 years old. <laughs> you got nipples in here somewhere. Watch. Let me find one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I was needing him. He's he like, so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at him. This is oh just the cutest thing. When I said where the magic happens, this is what I meant. There's two closets in this master bedroom, which is amazing. This one, like we planned, is mainly a storage closet. And look, look, look how that door just cuts off behind. There's it a does. whole corner back there. This is like Gaines's door was. But for us, it kind of makes more sense because our shoes do, do still fit since it's such a short little thing. And then back here, we've got like boots and stuff. You can't really see. But we use them so infrequently that it's fine. Look at baby Cullen and baby Katie. Oh my goodness, look how cute. I've got some bins coming to store all this stuff in so it won't be such a hot mess. Our regular closet for all of our clothes is here. So we actually, we do still have the wire shelves up here. Oh yeah, we took, those out. took them off here and put in, these are just Ikea wardrobe they used things. They playroom at the old house. Yeah, we decided to use them in the closet this time and it's been great. This was also Ikea, so when we had it in the playroom, that was like behind there and had a TV on it, but... It's worked really well for in here. And the master bathroom. Where the sea turtles stay. The sea turtles are right here. I don't know if this little thing is going to stay right here. That one will stay. <laughs> <laughs> this bathtub and shower is like the exact same we had in our old house. The cabinets, I mean, there's nothing really exciting to see in here other than we've, you know, put our little stuff. This is like my favorite little bath picture of them ever. <laughs> so it's will forever be in the bathroom. I have installed this ankle itcher. 
That's for the cats, <laughs> OMG. In this room, this thing used to be in the kids' bathroom at the old house. We would like to do something a little nicer, but for now it gives us a place to stash all of our, you know, toilet paper and such. We have ended up being very happy with our new home purchase. Hey, the last time we wrapped up our empty house tour, we were just standing right here. And now oh, we're look, laying now we're on our couch. And snuggled. Oh, isn't that fun? Yes. Stay tuned for future changes. We have lots of, you know, projects and things. I don't know how long they'll take us, but we're kind of working our way through and it's been really exciting and fun. Still alcohol free, baby. Oh yeah. We gotta do little check out those videos. There. This was fun. Yeah, check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all the other socials for yes. the daily stuff. Yes, we keep you posted there as well. Thanks again to career.io for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go check them out. Link in the description below. And we will see you later. Do you have a nice schedule? Peace out.